Camp Rise Up is a week-long overnight camp for 12 to 15 year olds who are living in temporary housing in New York City. Teenagers who are living in temporary housing are at higher risk for things like teen pregnancy, um, using drugs and alcohol, being in unhealthy relationships. So we like to have Camp Rise Up as kind of a crash course in all of these really important topics. When I came here, it's just like, wow. It's a very nice campus. A lot of trees, grass. You're learning about new things every day that you wouldn't regularly learn. This camp, I love all the counselors. They're really nice and just so trustworthy. What are some ways that you can respond to peer pressure? One of the core elements of our camp is health education workshops. HIV and herpes are correct. The first two years are really focused on sexual health and social emotional learning. And when they get a little older, we teach them things like financial literacy, stress management, skills they need to be counselors in training. Yeah, sometimes it's peer pressure because like everyone else in your group has had sex. The classes here are so helpful because I learned so much about my body, about like managing our emotions. They teach you about like HIV, STDs, contraceptions and STDs and STIs and how to prevent them. About drugs and how bad they are for you. I learned not to give into peer pressure. Your partner posts private pictures of you on their social media. <laughs> okay, what do I mean when I say private pictures or private photos? I won't never forget it because what we was learning, it, it was actually interesting. These classes was grabbing my attention. Now, before anything happens, I could stay mindful of the consequences that could happen. I guess you can look at it as a backpack that we can bring with us on our journeys. We have different things in our backpack that now we can pull out because we've learned them. Camp Rise Up has a balance of classes and activities. We want to keep them engaged and we want them to have that fun and have that enjoyment. We got canoeing, we have hiking, we have the pool. We've been going to the pool every single day. My favorite activity was zip lining. I'm afraid of heights. So I'm glad that they pushed me out of my comfort zone to do it. It's crucial for our kids to get out of the city, spend time in nature. I think that's why our retention rate is so high. It relaxes their mind, their body, and lets them know that there's more to life than just what they see on a day-to-day -day basis. This space really gives them the opportunity to just be true to who they are. Coming here for camp is honestly really relieving, especially if you're going through a lot. It's like a breath of fresh air. You don't have to worry about anything but having fun. A lot of times at home, you're like crowded. So to get away from that city life, able to experience something different for a change, relieve some stress, you know. Like I love the smell in the air of just like the nature. And I love, I love it. <laughs> the program doesn't end the last day of camp. We are doing monthly get-togethers, and then we have two reunions. We want to keep in contact with them. We want them to stay in contact with each other, keep those relationships going. My future with Camp Rise Up is hopefully progress and learn more things. I would like to be a CIT so I can spread my knowledge to the people that are below me. As soon as it ends, I look forward to coming back the next year, honestly. This is my first time being away from home. I'm for sure coming back for camp next year. You can reuse a condom. Paul, oh, yes! I see real change in the life experiences that they're having. I've had these kids, some of them for five years now, who I know have matured and have learned something. And it's just a really great feeling seeing them be so invested and want to come back every year. Thank you.